This one is a 1934 Corona 4 glossy with a flat top. I'm gonna show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. Got a real nice glossy paint job. Doesn't really have any scratches. It is very old though, almost 100 years old. I'm gonna load a piece of paper in here. It loads normally. It's got these two paper holder things. It's got a paper tray that flips up from the back that it sits on to set the margins. They're right here, just thumb. You can thumb them wherever you want to put them. Just like that. When you hear the end of the, when you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin and you hit this line space to get you back to the beginning and it'll skip a space. As you can see, all the keys type perfectly and none of them stick. Type a sentence. Really nice type of machine, I like it. Really popular machine. I usually don't keep these in stock for very long, mostly because of the style, but the type is really nice too. Got nice print. I'm gonna show you how to use the rest of the functions. Take the paper out. Put those down. So it's got a backspace, and that works good. It's got a left carriage release and a right carriage release. You get to the end of the margin. It has a mechanism to stop you from typing past your margin. And if you need to complete a word, you just hit that margin release and then it allows you to type past it. That works good. Got a shift lock right there. And above it is the ribbon selector switch. You can go from red to white, which is no print at all, to blue or black. Got a solid black ribbon, so we're gonna keep it on black. It's got a ribbon direction control function. All of the ribbon is on the left side, so we wanna have to pull to the right side. As you can see, it's pulling to the right side. But if you wanted to pull it to the left, you just flip that switch and I'll pull to the left. And that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.